Hey, did you know that you could train ChatGPT to give you text prompts for mid-journey and even give you original input ideas? Well, yeah, you can, and I'm going to show you how. Hello humans, when we scan your air overload, and yes, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can train ChatGPT to give you original prompts for mid-journey. Because if you haven't watched my previous video on the subject, I showed you that ChatGPT actually has a memory that allows you to feed it information about a new subject and then use that knowledge for a new task. Which is exactly what we're going to utilize today. Because as you know yourself, to be able to generate images from mid-journey, especially the V5 model, you need to use a precise and descriptive text prompt, which sometimes if you don't have a lot of ideas could be very difficult to come up on your own. Especially if you're like me and you like a lot of imagination. Because why for this task we're going to be using the brain of ChatGPT. And to do this little trick, I created the following prompt. You are MJGPT, an AI art prompting assistant for a popular online text-to-image AI tool called Midjourney. Users can use a chat application Discord to communicate with the Midjourney AI bot to create images. It uses simple commands and requires no coding experience to create aesthetically pleasing images. Your task is now to provide me with an original, extremely detailed and creative precise prompt for mid-journey when I give you an input idea. You should always respect the precise prompting style for mid-journey that I will provide next. And then what I did is simply copy and paste the entire user guide and prompting style that I found on the mid-journey website, where it explains what a prompt is, what are the different parameters, how the prompting should be done, what is the correct syntax to use, and then a list of the command of all the parameters that you can use inside with journey. Now this is only part 1 of the prompt, because ChatGPT in GPT-4 has a token limit, which is why in the end I input something like for now, remember this info. If you understood, just say read. Because now the entire text prompt is actually way, 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 way longer. There is actually three different parts. And if you want to use this prompt yourself, you can find the link for it in the description down below. So just come here, select the first part, which basically ends at read. Just copy it and paste it in ChatGPT. Then press enter. ChatGPT will now answer by saying red. Then you're gonna come here and select the second part. Then copy and paste it. And for the second part, I actually copy and pasted a bunch of examples of prompt made by the community. I think there is about like 30 prompts from the top best images on Mid Journey. All of these are of super high quality. And at the end, since we're almost done, I asked ChatGPT, do you understand now how the prompting style for Mid Journey works? Because I actually want ChatGPT to give me a small explanation of what it understood from all of this documentation. So if I press enter, ChatGPT answers me with, yes, I understand the prompting style for Mid Journey now. The prompts provided by the community are detailed and specific, including various elements such as subject, style, colors, artist, resolution, aspect ratio, and other characteristics. These prompts are designed to generate unique and high quality artwork based on the given parameters. Which is exactly correct, good job. So now, finally, let's actually have some fun. So I'm gonna come here, select and copy the last part, paste it, and now I'm gonna write something like, great, now give me an original prompt for a creative artistic image of, let's say something very simple, a beautiful woman. Just simple as that. If I press enter, I get this super huge and super detailed prompt. I'm not gonna read it because it's really super long, but as you can see in the end, it also gave me a bunch of parameters for me to use, such as the aspect ratio, the style, and the quality. So now, let's see what Midjourney will generate from that amazing prompt. So I'm just gonna select this entire text, Ctrl-C to copy it, and in Midjourney I'm gonna type slash imagine then paste my prompt, and then press enter. And this is the final result. A bunch of super high quality images of a woman surrounded by flowers, leaves, vines, in a style that is a blend of Alphonse Mucha and Audrey Kawasaki. For reference, for example, this is Alphonse Mucha, and this is Audrey Kawasaki. So yeah, when you actually blend them together, you get something that is actually pretty close. And yeah, the quality of the generation, the quality of the detail, is really incredible. And now we can also, of course, change our prompt for a completely different style. So for example, instead of putting a creative artistic image, I want something more, maybe a little bit more photorealistic. So for this, I'm simply gonna write, now give me an original prompt for a photorealistic image of a beautiful woman. And if I press enter, again, I get a super huge and super detailed prompt. So now if I select it, Ctrl C to copy it, then in mid-journey again, slash imagine, then paste my prompt and press enter. I get something like this, which is absolutely godly. I mean, look at the details, it's absolutely incredible. I'm actually both impressed by ChatGPT to be able to create this kind of text prompt from nothing and for Midjourney to be able to follow these prompts to the T. I mean, this is really a killer combo. 
And of course, with this, you can do anything you want. You don't necessarily have to create people. You can even do landscape if you want to. So for example, if I write, give me an original prompt for a creative artistic image of a fantasy landscape in a 16 by 9 ratio, and if I press enter, I get an actually very, very nice prompt. I can't wait to try it out. This sounds actually really, really cool. And as you can see here, I specified that I want a 16 by 9 ratio. And ChatGPT understood exactly what I wanted, because as you can see here, for the aspect ratio, it has put 16 by 9 using the correct mid journey parameters. So now again, if I select this, Control C to copy it. Then I'm gonna paste that in mid journey. And I get something like this, which is just, uh, I mean, this is, this is amazing. This is just fantastic. I mean, these landscapes look so good. Again, I'm not sure which one is really the most impressive ones. If it's ChatGPT that creates these amazing prompts, if it's Midjury that creates these amazing images, or a combination of both. But I gotta say, I'm not disappointed. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Now, okay, that's great and all, but uh, sometimes I don't really have any idea. I kinda lack imagination. I just want to generate some cool images, but I don't really know what. Well, hey guys, calm down. You have ChatGPT, my dudes. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're simply just gonna ask ChatGPT to provide us with ideas. So for this, I'm gonna write something like, Unfortunately, I'm out of ideas. Can you suggest a bunch of cool and original input ideas that I can choose from and then ask you to write a prompt for it? And now, as you can see, ChatGPT has wrote a bunch of ideas that I could choose from. And for this example, I think I'm gonna choose number 7. A futuristic city skyline at sunset with advanced transportation systems. So now all you have to do is just write, okay great, give me an original prompt for a creative artistic image for number 7. And as you can see, I get exactly what I asked for. So now again, I just select the prompt and put that inside my journey. And this is the final result, a futuristic city at sunset with an advanced transportation system. I actually really like the first one, I wish we could have a little bit more greenery in our cities, but all the other images look pretty cool also. And again, if you want something a little bit more different, you can change your initial prompt to something like, can you suggest a bunch of cool and original input ideas that are not a landscape I can choose from and then ask you to write a prompt for it. And again, I get a bunch of super cool and original ideas. And I think for those example, I'm gonna choose number four, an alien species engaged in a lively marketplace. So for this, I'm gonna write, give me an original prompt for a photorealistic artistic image for number four. And again, here's my prompt, so if I select it and put again in mid journey, I get something like this which again looks super super cool. Super artistic images of an alien marketplace. This looks really really cool. Because if you compare those images to the images that was generated using a prompt that I would write myself, which is a simple alien marketplace, now the images look very different. So this is with ChatGPT and this is without. There is definitely a lack of details, a lack of imagination, a lack of colors, and these images just look very empty. They look super super generic. Whereas these ones with those amazing creatures, and the amount of detail in each image, look definitely way better to me than those images. So yeah, to me this trick definitely works very very well. And yeah, there you go, a super easy to use trick to generate amazing images in mid journey using the power of ChatGPT. And for this of course you don't need to use the paid GPT-4, you can simply use the free ChatGPT. GPT that should be available for everybody to use. And again, if you want this entire text prompt, the link for it will be in the description down below. So yeah, there you go. Definitely try this trick yourself because it's really, really cool. And there you have it folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much for my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.